glad to have you. And we are, well, we're talking gaming, video game world, and all things digital with Emma Fife, who is the host of the Vens, the download, not the Vens. It's like saying the Twitter. But anyway, That's Emma, fine. good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you as well. Your set is so fabulous. Oh my goodness. I am loving the Thank pink. I'm you. loving the yellow, the whole thing. Now, yeah. topic of the day is what are NFTs? I hear that and I'm thinking like, I don't know, not, not enough funds to transfer, um, yeah. no money in the bank. What is this? Listen, NFTs are everywhere right now, uh, as you mentioned, all over the Twitter. Uh, but <laughs> you uh, certainly heard people talking about NFTs, which stands for non-fungible tokens. So these are essentially unique computer codes that correspond to an online piece of artwork, a certificate of authenticity, if you will. So some are selling for high prices, especially around artwork related to gaming and esports companies. So how can you keep your kids or yourself from getting duped into overpaying and are they even worth yeah. purchasing? Why, that's, that's my question. I hear, okay, you're saying this is, this is not for actual artwork I can put up on my wall. This right. is for a, di it's a digital token for something that, that's yes. not a tangible thing. Now why, yeah. and I say this with no shade, I say this from a learning heart, why would you want one? So basically with the non-fungible tokens, it, it, think of it this way, it's like, so if you think of something like Bitcoin, uh -huh. if you trade one Bitcoin for another, it's still Bitcoin. You know, it's still effectively the same thing. But with NFTs, it's more like trading Pokemon cards. Um, okay. So it's like if you trade like a holographic Squirtle for a, an Articuno or something like that, you now have a completely different card. So NFTs, it's basically a way of owning something that is digital. Now, you do get into a weird sort of space because again, like digital, anybody can download something that's digital even if you own it, but it's just a way for people, another way for people to monetize things that they're creating digitally okay. because that's something that nobody's really perfected yet per se yeah. i mean listen as, as somebody that often looks at my own twitter and i'll get a tweet with a lot of engagement and i go man i, I wish i got money for oh all the all the likes and retweets <laughs> there uh you know i i sort of get it but yeah so that is that's my very brief attempt at explaining exactly what nfts are i like it we'll get it we'll have to get into that again because I'm, I'm super intrigued on this topic I'm even more intrigued on bringing this transformer to life. So it's like we're talking, talking digital, maybe not tangible, and now we're talking, yeah. okay, actual tangible transformer. Tell me more. Yes, this is fabulously tangible. So Optimus Prime ha has only been a blocky, immobile fantasy until now. The toy geniuses at Hasbro have launched a new, fully working transformer. The toy begins as a truck like Optimus Prime does, and then can transform on its own into the leader of the Autobots. We all know and love this is definitely a must-have collector's item for many fans and comes with race functionality, the ability to walk, and even corresponds to voice commands. Ooh. Ooh. How do you, how does, how does one get this? Uh, by purchasing it. <laughs> Probably via the internet. Uh, yeah, no, this, uh, this, this Optimus Prime toy is very, very cool. Uh, as you see, it, yes. it, I mean, it truly is bringing Optimus Prime to life. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's all coming full circle. Emma, thank you. So good to see you. Of course, good to see you as well. You guys, don't forget you can watch Emma Fife on Venn.tv. You get the latest gaming news, trending topics, all of it. We have it linked up, and we have several in-depth interviews with her at CW33.com slash Ben.